John Morant returned from his 25 game suspension to a horrible Grizzlies team. They faced the Pelicans who had just won four straight and were down 19 at half. But Ja exploded for 27 points and the game was tied with nine seconds to go. Then Ja was all alone with the Pels best defender on him and hit the game winner. The NBA scriptwriters did it again. The perfect ending. But as Ja ran to the locker room, he screamed a message that had the media asking questions. I can't receive it, dude. I can't receive it. Someone caught you on camera saying, I keep receipts. Yeah. Can you elaborate on that? And secondly, what was your I meeting? feel like it's self-explanatory. Yeah, I remember everything that was said. So does John not think he did anything wrong? Or did some media people step over the line in their criticism? Well, the next day on first take, instead of just discussing how great Jaw was on the court, they had a huge argument. Bro. But he's making it sound like they didn't do anything wrong. But it's fine. He like, got suspended twice, and he lied to and he lied. He didn't to say he didn't do anything wrong. Well, I mean, when you say I'm keeping receipts, yes. that's an indication that you got wronged by people in the NBA. No. He didn't get wronged. He no, got, it's not. He got suspended twice, and he lied to the commissioner. I don't think that's an indication that he got wronged. I just think that's how athletes are built, doggy. So was he claiming the victim? or just being an athlete using motivation. Well, the reason Jay Will couldn't admit he was playing the victim there is because that would be unthinkable. How does a guy flash a gun at a strip club, get suspended and say, I'm sorry, I'm gonna take some time away and get help and work on learning better methods to deal with my stress. Then after two weeks away, he goes on national TV and acts like a changed man. So, you no, know, I was constantly, you know, talking to therapists. Um, I've been doing, you know, Reiki treatment. Um, I've been doing anxiety breathing. Whoa, counseling, Reiki treatment. This sounds like a serious issue. But five weeks later, he flashes another gun on IG Live. What are we doing? Not only did Ja release another I'm sorry statement, he lost a Powerade sponsorship, got suspended 25 games. If Ja thinks he did nothing wrong, Jay Will can't even admit it. But guess what? Something terrible just happened that looks really bad for Ja. But first, today's video is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. I am playing Underdog almost every single night because win or lose, it makes whatever game I am watching that night a lot more fun. And my favorite game to play is Pick'em. You pick higher or lower with the stats available on your favorite players, and you can up to 20x your money on a single night. So let's take a look at my two picks. First up is Cade Cunningham's points. Look, I know it's the Pistons, but they're playing the Brooklyn Nets who are just allowing a ton of points to point guards. Even Dante DiVincenzo just scored 23 against them. And then it's Paolo Bancaro. He has been going off lately. We're gonna go higher on his points. They're playing the Wizards. And best of luck if you are tailing those picks. Check out this map to see if Underdog is available in your area, but always use the promo code AMHOOPS. Not only will it double your first deposit up to 100 bucks, but it really helps out the channel. That is promo code AMHOOPS, thanks to Underdog. First of all, what were the receipts that he kept? If you look at all the national media people, most of them just want Jaw to succeed. They said, please don't throw away your career just to look cool. The closest thing to a hater I could find was Charles Barkley. First of all, you're not a thug. You're not a criminal. You're not a crook. You're a guy making $100 million a year to dribble a stupid- 200. 200 million to dribble a stupid basketball. That was it. Now I'm sure you can find some random dude somewhere saying terrible things, but I'm talking the big media people. Shannon Sharp was apparently the worst, and all he said was this. Again, it's somebody else. Somebody from the back seat passed up a toy gun. What grown ass man you know? play with toy guns. I am sure that Ja wants Shannon to back him up because they're both pro athletes and not call him out for lying. But then Ja's dad went on the radio. T. Morant did an interview and when asked if they changed anyone in their inner circle, he said no. I was shocked. Not even Devonte Pack, who was with Ja when he beat up a teenager and flashed a gun, was banned from entering the Grizz arena? He got in a verbal altercation with the Pacers, and players said a red laser was pointed at them from a car with Ja and Devante. That guy is still in the circle? 
But hold up, this could be overblown. The media takes one little soundbite, puts it in a headline for clicks. I mean, the interview was 20 minutes long with T. Morant. Maybe it wasn't that bad. So I listened to the whole thing to make sure. And it's even worse than they said. Well, you really didn't really do anything wrong, but a crime to humanity because of the kids that look up them. That's the only thing he did wrong. But we in Memphis. He had a gun. Okay. <laughs> That's not a crime. Not a crime? No one said it was a crime. He wasn't suspended for owning a gun. He was flashing the gun at a strip club, then did it again after he was suspended. If he did nothing wrong, then why did he go to counseling and get Reiki treatment? Remember that? Everybody knows it was a bad mm -hmm. decision, but it wasn't yeah. a crime. It's people doing worse things in yeah. the league. So Ja get punished more than them, why? Okay, on this one, he actually has a point. There is no doubt T is talking about the Josh Giddy situation. Evidence suggests Giddy slept with an underage girl and has not been suspended. The girl's parents are refusing to cooperate with police, but that shouldn't matter, NBA. Don't you take things into your own hands? I mean, they don't even need a crime to have been committed. But to look at someone else and say, that's not fair, you are playing the victim. So then the interviewer asks him, does Ja want to be the face of the NBA? Because if he does, the standard is different. Uh, Magic okay. and Bird, MJ, okay. LeBron. Okay. But now Ja is in the mix of maybe being that guy. So he does understand that expectation, correct? Uh, yeah, he yeah. definitely does. But, uh, but as it is, what crime did he commit? When your dad is telling you that you are a victim and it wasn't that bad, it is really hard to change your behavior. But let's be honest, so far, Jaw hasn't done anything else wrong. All he has done is ball out and lead the Grizzlies to win since he came back. But if you were building a team around a young star, you would have to take this into account. Since Jaw's been out, other guys have stepped up. Tyrese Halliburton taking another leap. Tyrese Maxey will be an all-star. And if you build around Jaw, you have no idea what could happen next. He has a history of acting out and has changed nothing. So the first young player I would build around is Luka Doncic. Already led to the West Finals, but Luka was already number one. Number two is Anthony Edwards. His team is in first place, yeah. But not many 22-year-olds can step into a locker room with vets like Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert and be the undoubted alpha. And in the playoffs, he's electric like Ja. But Ant's behavior issues are not bright red flags like waving a gun around. Number three is Victor Wimbanyama. Look, I know that's shocking, but he's still 19 years old. Vic's ceiling is actually beyond Luka. I'll probably regret putting him at three very soon. Below him, Tyrese Halliburton. He has proven to be one of the best passers in the NBA and clutch. In back-to-back -back tournament games, he had game winners over the Bucks and Celtics. He's been going through a slump the past seven games, which for him means 18 points and 12 assists. I do think the defenses are gonna key on Tyrese as the league finds out, but I would build my team around him over Ja Morant. Now below Ja, I've got Zion, who I'll probably regret later, but he can be the best player in the world. Then it's a mix of guys who I rank by their ability to be a number one, and a winning player. Now this list is not set in stone. I'm sure it'll look dumb years from now, but like Zion, I don't know if Ja will be available in the future. The critics said, can he fulfill his potential if he keeps going down this road? And Ja said, I am keeping receipts and have learned nothing. But another guy in the spotlight is James Harden. Dude was the biggest villain in the NBA, but has the Clippers rolling. However, James Harden is doing it yet again. 